Hello, welcome. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the change of base formula. It's one of my favorite things in logarithms. The idea is that, let's say you have the log um, base 7 of 8. You're trying to evaluate this thing. Some calculators can't do a change of base, so this will be something you often encounter. Um, you can't just change the base or customize it always, so you can then use this formula to adjust. You could rewrite this as the log of any base, say natural log of 8, over the natural log of 7, or the log of 8 over the log of 7, common base, or really anything you want. Let's say the log base 5 of 8 over the log base 5 of 7. These are all equal things, and you can keep going. And that's what the change of base formula does. It says the log base b of x equals the log of any base of x divided by the log of that base of b. And I love this because, I, to me, this makes almost no sense that this works. And I would love to hear an explanation if you've got one. For me, I love this because the algebra tells me that this is going to work. And here's the proof that I like to use. So first, let's, we're, we're focusing on this change of base. Let's say we have y equals the log base b of x. That's what y equals. Now, that's true. But it's only true if b to the y equals x. These are just the same thing here. So here, well, what happens if I take the log of both sides. We'll take the log base a because in our goal here I see that we need to we want to show that this is this will work for log base a, any base. Let's take the log base a of both sides of b to the y equals the log base a of x. And then what happens? Well here we've taken the log of both sides. I can bring this exponent down in front. That's a law of logarithms, right? Y times the log base a of b equals the log base a of x. And if I want to get y all by itself, you'll see where this is going in a moment, that's the log base a of x divided by this factor here, divided by the log base a of b. And we're actually done. y equals the log base b of x. And we have y written here, so I'm just going to substitute that back. Instead of writing a y, I'm going to write the log base b of x. And we've proven it. The log base b of x equals log base a of x divided by log base a of b. And this helps us on many problems. And it's just fascinating to me that the algebra shows us this relationship. And it's just one of those times for me that algebra is the logic I need to understand the math I see. All right, I hope that helped.